Hello fellow simmers and welcome back to another speed build. Today I'm building a bohemian and minimalistic home, which is, was a request on one of my latest videos. It's not a style that I'm completely comfortable with, but I, I gave it a shot. It's definitely something that I want to get better at, which is, you can only do by, by trying it, I guess. So yeah, it was requested by a viewer, which I think is really nice. I love building houses when I know that people will use them. So please, if you have any suggestions for anything you would like to see me build, then leave it in the comments. Also, if you have something that you don't know how to build, then maybe you can also request a tutorial. I will be very happy to help if it's something that I can do. Otherwise, I'm sure that I will be able to find you a link to some other video here on YouTube where you can uh, you can learn it. Yeah, so as I mentioned, it's a bohemian and minimalistic build that I'm trying to do here. So I wanted to do a white exterior that was kind of like brick that was painted white but you, you could still kind of see the brick underneath and with these black accent windows and doors so this is something that i've seen in some bohemian looking houses especially when i've searched for houses in la i've found quite a few that has this mix of old and new where it becomes a little bit more modern when it's just painted white and all the windows are, are black. Yeah, so I struggled a lot with the windows. I wanted it to look like some of the windows had been kept from the old house, but some windows were new. So I used the windows from the Moschino pack in some of the places, where as you can see on one side of the house here, it's completely covered in these windows, so there's lots of light inside. It's not a style that I'm particularly good at, um, but yeah, I, I think it turned out pretty good. It, it turned out to be a one bedroom, one office and living room and kitchen. So there's room to expand to have more sims than just a couple. If you want, you can turn the office into a bedroom. Yeah, so anyway, as you see me building the rest of the exterior here, I thought I could just talk a little bit about what's happening at the moment with the new expansion pack that has just been been announced or not expansion pack sorry I think it's a game pack so it's called the journey to Batu, which is a new Star Wars pack apparently which I think is so odd I don't know about you guys I personally love the Star Wars I love the universe I think it's a little bit silly that they're making so many new movies because I love the old universe and I don't think you should mess too much with like old good ideas I like, just come up with new ones in my opinion but yeah I think it's super odd that they have chosen to do this for the sims to be honest I don't want to see any Star Wars things in my game the build objects look completely horrible in my opinion it's not a style that I'm particularly fond of building with I think we got some of the things in Strangerville, which were also a bit odd, which was kind of fun to play with. You can build trailers and stuff like this, maybe do some homes that are not as fancy as we were building before. But I still think it's so odd, to be honest. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you, Are you excited for it? Do you like the Star Wars? And if you do, do you actually want to see Star Wars in your game? I'm very, I hope they're gonna do a good job at it now that they've of course gotten a lot of money from, from Disney to do this, but still I'm just, I don't have my my hopes up at all. Yeah, that was a little bit of ranting, I know that everyone here on YouTube are kind of same saying the th same thing. Even people who like the Star Wars does not even want to have, have it in their game, which I think is is a little bit strange. I think we've had enough packs now that has these uh, supernatural themes and also I just think that there are so many things that we want to see in these last uh, packs that they're coming out with like we want better gameplay we want better stuff for our elders and our teenagers which is something that 
it's not getting old when playing the game a lot. You're always going to want more stuff to do for your teenagers. But this is just, I feel like it's going to be the same as we had with with Strangerville, that you're going to play it once. It's going to be kind of exciting, but then you you finish the mission that you're on and then you completely forget that it exists. And maybe even you don't even really like that the Strangerville characters are coming into your other cities because they don't really fit in. Which I, I, I'm really worried about that as well. Are we gonna see Star Wars characters popping up in all of the other worlds? Because I don't want that. I, I want my game to be kind of realistic, to be honest. Okay, well, I think that was enough of ranting. Now I'm gonna go back to the build. So you saw before the kitchen, I try to keep it uh, kind of minimal because it's a minimalistic build uh, but also I try to make it uh, a little bit less light than what some bohemians bohemian style houses are just because I really love wood tones so I chose to make it more of a kind of warm bohemian home uh, which Maybe it's something that I'm a little bit more comfortable with, which is why I chose to do that. So yeah, just because th this whole build was a little bit outside of my comfort zone, I think I stuck a little bit to some of the things that I, I know how to do, which is blend different warm tones of, of wood, I think. Some of the colors of the furniture and also on the walls, I end up changing towards the end, just because I thought that it was maybe a little, uh, a little too dark uh, for what I wanted. I wanted it to be kind of bright. So for example, this green wall that I just put down, I end up changing back to, to something that's white. Just, I think I prefer something that's a little bit darker, but it was requested that I did something that was bright. So I did try to keep that in mind as much as possible. Here I'm doing the downstairs bathroom. This is the only one that has a shower, where upstairs we include a bath instead. So this is the main bedroom, also the only one. So you can see again I put the green wall here. I do end up changing that as well. Just because I think at this point I kind of forgot that I was doing something that had to be bright. I thought of bohemian of something that could also be, be kind of colorful. But then I think I ended up thinking to myself, oh, wait a minute, the person who requested it actually said bright. Ah, okay, I, I, have to, uh, <laughs> I have to change the color scheme a little bit for it to be bright. Here I'm doing the, the upstairs bathroom where they have a nice bathtub. If you are gonna live here with your sims, maybe you wanna also include a shower here, just because it is a little bit more convenient to have a shower. But this is a, turned out to be kind of a luxurious bathroom. I would love to have this bathroom myself. Uh, yeah, so, and you can see on the other side of the hallway, we're gonna have an office, which is, is the room that you can turn into an extra bedroom if you want. Yeah, so I imagine that maybe the, the Sims that lived here were kind of young and were maybe into uh, into doing some internet stuff so I I put in one of these YouTube stations I actually don't remember what they call them in the game now do they say that it's uploaded to YouTube videos probably not um, yeah but maybe it's some people who want who are filming their lives kind of filming that they're decorating the house as well kind of like you see on YouTube now at least that's some of the channels that uh, that I like to watch when I'm not watching Sims videos. And I put a small desk also in the hallway just because I wanted them also to have a space where they had a computer. So even though you turn the other room into a, an extra bedroom, you still have a small office space here. Yeah, and I think I'm almost done with the interior of the house in a few seconds i'll be turning to the outside here on the upstairs balcony i put a small yoga mat and i'm not gonna do too much to the exterior i put down some plants to make it 
uh, look cozy, but I only included a grill and a place to sit and eat and also I included some couches on the downstairs balcony for them to, to hang out there. So if they were hosting parties and stuff, they could do it there. But yeah guys, I'm, uh, I'm finishing up the build now. Thank you so much for tuning in on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the build. If you have something that you want to see me build, then please let me know. I'll be very happy to do so. Just leave a comment here or on my on the gallery. My origin ID is Siema314, just because Siema was taken. Yeah, and uh, I, I hope you're having a great day and I will see you soon. Bye!